let's determine the delta H for the given equation. We're going to take equation 2 as it is, which is P4 solid and 502. This will produce P4010. Solid delta H here is equal to negative 2967.3 kilojoules. And we'll take equation 3, but we're going to multiply it uh, times 6. So this would give me 6 PCL3. Add 6 CL2 produce 6PCL5 and the delta H here would be 6 times minus 84.2 kilojoules and then combining these two together we will get uh, nothing cancelling P4 502, 6 PCL3, 6 CL2, P4010, 6 PCL5, delta H here would work out to be 3,472.5 kilojoules. Then to this, we're going to add equation 4, but we're going to take equation 4 and multiply it by 10. So this would give me 10 PCL3 add 502. Actually, before we do that, we're going to flip this equation around. This would give me P4010 solid, 6 PCL5 gas, P4 solid, 502 gas. 6PCL3 and 6CL2. Delta H here is positive 3,472.5 kilojoules. Now we're going to bring in equation 4, but times 10. And this would give me 10PCL3. And um, 502 to 10 CL3PO. And the delta H here would be equal to 10 times negative 285.7 kilojoules. So this would cancel. I'm left with 4 here. Uh, the 502s would cancel. And I am left with P4010 solid. Add 6 PCL5 gas plus 4 PCL3 gas. P4 add 6 Cl2, add 10 Cl3PO gas, delta H here is equal to minus 615.5 kilojoules. And then we're going to take this and 
we've got to add number one to this. So if I add number one to this, we will get P4, add 6Cl2 gas to 4PCl3, gas, and Um, the delta H here is equal to minus 1,225.6 kilojoules. So 4PCL3 would cancel, P4 would cancel, 6Cl2 would cancel, and looks like I'm left with P4O10 solid, add 6PCL5 gas, producing 10 Cl3 PO solid. The delta H here finally here works out to negative 610.1 kilojoules. So here is our final answer.